Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this one I'll show you how you can link your Minecraft in-game chat to your Discord server. So I know there are a lot of Minecraft versions out there. Uh, for example, Forge, Bucket, Fabric, but I'll be doing it for the Fabric version. The only thing you will need is a Fabric server. You can watch my tutorial for this. And a Discord server. On both servers you need to have access to various different things that can only be managed by administrators. This means that you need to be administrator on your Discord server. And you need to have access to the files of your Minecraft server, including the mods folder and config folder. If you don't have a server yet, you can just scroll down, click on add server, create my own for me and my friends, enter a name and click on create. On your Discord server, you then want to right click and create channel, text channel and I'll just name it uh, server chat. You then want to go to the link in the video description, the fabric Discord link mod on CurseForge, uh, scroll down and download the version for your server, in my case 1.17. Now go to your server's file location uh, and place the mod into the mods folder. You also need the fabric API and then you start the server and after it started it will crash immediately but in the config folder under the FD link folder you will find two config files. Open the fdlink.json. You should see this. Now this looks like a lot of settings, but uh, for now you only need the top three. Now open a second tab and go to the second link in the description, Discord developer uh, website. Uh, go to the applications tab, click on new application. Then let's say um, fabric discord link, click on create. Then you want to click on bot um, and you want to add a bot. You can name that whatever you want. Now go back to the general information tab and open a new tab and insert the third link in the description. Then go back to the general information tab. Then copy the application ID. Just click on copy. Uh, and then in the link you, you see a client ID placeholder. You just delete that and at the exact position you insert the ID. And then you press enter. And then it says uh, choose a server. I'll just put it on the test server. And it says uh, read messages and send messages. You have to uh, authorize that. Okay. So now on Discord, you see that there is this bot, but it says it's offline. That is because it's not linked to your server. Next, enable developer mode. You go to user settings, advanced, and Tick this uh, box to so it says yeah developer mode. And now you right click your uh, server chat um, channel and you copy the ID of it. You can't see this option uh, unless you have uh, activated um, developer mode. You go to um, the config file and in chat channels you insert it like this and you can also do that with the log channel the last thing you want to do before restarting your server is to go to the bot section copy the token and insert it right here and save
And now you can indeed restart your server. In your server console, after this insane amount of uh, text that you get, uh, on Discord you should have received a message here in your server chat you now see that your um, bot is online and here it said server is starting and then afterwards it said server started uh, now when I for example say hey in yeah, on, on Discord, you can see that the server said, hey. And that is how you can see. You can also, uh, here you can uh, uh, issue some commands. For example, um, commands like this. You type that like this. Yeah, you type it correctly. And then you get all the commands. So you can say, play account. And you can see that zero out of four players are online. You could say uh, status. You have the uptime, and this says how long the server has been running after the last uh, restart. Then you have, well, uptime itself. There's, of course, also a way to communicate with uh, the people online on the server uh, by just typing what you want. If I say, hey, what's up? And the server console, you can see that my, like, this will show my, uh, di my Discord uh, username. Um, here, no, this will show my, my Discord username and I say, hey, what's up? In the config file, by changing the allow discord commands to true you can uh, execute all um, commands that you can uh, execute in the server console and in the chat when you are op also in discord depending on the size of your minecraft server there might be many messages um, that are being sent in this uh, channel so you might want to mute it but that's about it, about the Fabric uh, Discord link. Uh, I hope I have put all the links in the description. If not, I'll maybe add a comment. But anyway, see you next time.